The Gospel of Mark The Garden of Gethsman Mark 1432-42 Introduction 1. Following the Last Supper, Jesus and his disciples went to Gethsman. Mark 1432 A. A garden outside the city, across the Kidron Brook and on the Mount of Olives. B. Its name meaning olive press, and was possibly a remote walled garden. C. A place where Jesus often went with his disciples. John 18, 1 2. 2. Note the contrast between the Garden of Eden and the Garden of Gethsman. A. In Eden, the first man Adam fell by yielding to temptation and disobeyed God. B. In Gethsman, the second man. 1 Corinthians 15:47 conquered by yielding to the will of God. They came to a place which was named Jethsman. He said to his disciples, Sit here, while I pray. He took with him Peter, James, and John, and began to be greatly troubled and distressed. He said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. Stay here, and watch. Mark 1432-34 1. The garden was a place of suffering. A. Where Jesus experienced great distress. 1. He went to pray, accompanied only by Peter, James, and John. Mark 1432-33 2. Before he began praying, he was troubled and deeply distressed. Mark 1433 3. Later, Luke records that he was in agony, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Luke 22:44. 5. He was lightly troubled for he knew that his hour had come. John 12:27. 6. He knew what was imminent, for he had told his disciples earlier. Mark 10:32-34. B where Jesus endured intense sorrow. 1. He described himself as exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. Mark 14.34 2. The writer of Hebrews refers to his vehement cries and tears. Hebrews 5.7 3. His grief and sorrow was partly due to the fact that he was taking upon himself our own grief and sorrow. Isaiah 53, 4-5, c. Where Jesus encountered solemn loneliness. 1. He wanted his closest disciples to watch with him. Mark 14:33. a. Those who had been with him from the beginning. Mark 1:16-20. b. Those who were privy to one of his greatest miracles. Mark 5:37-43 C Those who saw him transfigured on the mountain Matthew 9:1-2 D including the disciple whom he loved John 13:23 and 19:26 also 20 2 and 21 7 and 20 also 24 2 Yet after each episode of praying he found them sleeping Mark 14:37 and 40 also 41. A. When he desired fellowship for comfort, there was none to be found. B. The psalmist foretold this would happen. Psalm 69:20. He went forward a little and fell on the ground and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass away from him. He said, Abba, Father, all things are possible to you. Please remove this cup from me. However, not what I desire, but what you desire. He came and found them sleeping, and said to Peter, Simon, are you sleeping? Couldn't you watch one hour? Watch and pray, that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again he went away, and prayed, saying the same words. Mark 1435-39 2. The garden was a place of strength. A. When Jesus expressed agonizing prayer. 1. 
the agony in his prayer is a seen by his posture he fell on the ground mark 14:35 b heard in his words abba father take this cup away from me mark 14:36 2 it was godly fear jesus expressed and for such his prayer was heard hebrews 5:7 a. Not that the cup of suffering was removed. B. But that he would be able to drink it. B. When Jesus extended entire resignation. 1. As evidenced by his words. A. Not what I will, but what you will. Mark 14.36 B. If this cup cannot pass away from me unless I drink it, your will be done. Matthew 26, 42. 2. When man first said, My will, not thine, be done. A. It opened the floodgate of sin. B. It turned man out of the paradise of God. 3. But when Jesus said, Not as I will, but as you will. A. Victory over sin and access to the tree of life became possible. B. For it prepared Jesus to go to the cross to make it possible. C. When Jesus enjoyed special comfort. 1. Jesus received an answer to his prayer. Luke 22:43. A. Not the answer he requested, let this cup pass from me. B. But strength from an angel. 2. Like the Apostle Paul would pray later. 2 Corinthians 12, 7-10 A. Asking the Lord to remove his thorn in the flesh. B. Receiving an answer different than requested, but sufficient to meet the need. D. When Jesus evinced renewed resolve. 1. Strengthened, Jesus was ready to face the hour at hand. Mark 14, 41. 2. He was ready to meet his betrayer and those with him. Mark 14:42. Again he returned, and found them sleeping, for their eyes were very heavy, and they didn't know what to answer him. He came the third time, and said to them, Sleep on now, and take your rest. It is enough. The hour has come. Behold, the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Arise, let us be going. Behold, he who betrays me is at hand. Mark 1440-42 Conclusion 1. So the Garden of Gethsman was a place of both suffering and strength. A. Jesus entered the Garden suffering. B. He left the Garden strengthened. 2. Notice what turned the place of suffering into a place of strength. A prayer that was fervent and persistent b prayer that submitted to the will of god c prayer in which one was strengthened d prayer that enabled one to face the cup of life given him there will be times when we must enter our garden of jethsman times of distress sorrow loneliness but such times can also be a time of comfort and strength provided we spend them in prayer, willing to accept the Father's will in our lives. Philippians 4, 6-7 The End The Gospel of Mark The Garden of Gethsman Mark 14, 32-42